Because I used to be on the street and then most of the time I didn't even have a sleeping bag or anything. It was pouring down the rain. I've been in when it was snowy. I mean, you know, when it was snowy, I like, uh, I literally had to stay warm on a park bench. Like, they're choosing people whom to give you know, accommodation because they see how you live there, room, you clean. And then one day they knocked my door and said, we got a you know, place for you. I said, yeah, brilliant. And it's like two minutes away from here. Well, I became homeless. Um, I was having trouble with cocaine and a bit of alcohol. And I found this place just for being homeless, really. And they took me under their wing and supported me through a lot of things. So. Kind of when you sort of feel like, a, you, when you see a, a food uh, kitchen or people handing out food, you kind of expect it to be sort of homeless people with, with certain issues or um, the certain stigmas that kind of come with what pe sort of people you'd think would use a, a food kitchen, but it, it's not, it was it was families there, like with young kids. Um, people from all walks of life, um, they, they, they didn't look homeless, they just didn't have enough money for food. And I think seeing that really was an eye-opener for me and really, really sort of made me think how big this issue is. And I, I know people weren't just coming here for because it was a meal and they just it, it was a, a free meal. It was they actually needed it, and um, I think that's what touched me at the time. And, and that's what made me sort of uh, want to be more involved in the the, the Good Shepherd. I think we touch all parts of the community really because I mean we've got some people that will come to us once a month when they're struggling with um, people who are working families who are struggling to kind of stay afloat and, and pay bills they'll come to us once a month for food and some basic advice all the way to people who are entrenched rough sleepers who've slept rough for 15 20 plus years um, so I think the Good Shepherd we kind of serve and we work with people from all aspects of, of life in, in the city at times you were, were kind of only a few steps away from, from being in a, a real rough position and I think everyone needs help in some sort of way. I had help um, making it in my career. If it weren't for certain people at certain times, then I wouldn't have got where I was as well. So everyone kind of needs that help in hand and if I can be a part of that in, in, in multiple ways, then I'd, I'd love to help out, yeah. It's terribly important to, to take the person as they are, as a human being with their dignity. And I think for, for anybody working with some of those people, sensitivity around that is very important. One of the things we have to do, and I think we do it, one is constantly trying to do that in our daily work with the people who use our services, and that is talking about their dignity and about them able to see and try to enable them to see their themselves as a dignified human being. Sometimes they'll say, well, they, we've got all this wrong. I say, yeah, that's part of the human person. And, you know, you talk about the limitation of all of us, not just them, myself included. And, that, and for them to realize, I'm no better than they are. I've been in fortunate, fortunate circumstances where I haven't fallen into something or other. But the very same thing would happen. People can and they do change. And do you know, I'm not stupid enough to believe that everyone who's got a problem is going to turn their lives around and it, it's not, it just doesn't work like that. But everyone has got that, that capacity and that ability to change and go on to it. And like I said, it's not a kind of small change, stop using drugs, move from the street. You see people go on from that to do fantastic things. Teenage boy, she, she helped me a lot. Everything, everything almost she did for me. She gave me accommodation, everything. I'm, yeah, I'm doing volunteering um, in the kitchens. I'm, um, well, yeah, just basically training. I've done it twice now. I'm doing it once every Thursday. And yeah, so it's an experience for me as well, like a little work experience. And hopefully I can get a job early at the end of it, hopefully. Um, confidence building is a big one that they've helped me with. Um, also just finding myself again and building myself back up, getting over a cocaine issue and alcohol just rebuilding myself, getting myself a flat and starting university. <laughs> they feed me, <laughs> they give me a place where to sleep. It's like, you can say second family. <laughs> they treat me like family and without the Good Shepherd now, I'll probably be still the same old drunk on the street, nowhere to go and homeless. That, that's what I would have been without the Good Shepherd. In the future, um, well, nobody really knows what's going to go on in the future. 
you can plan for it but you don't know whether it's actually going to get you there or not but i'm hopeful that i'm going to get to where i want to be and i'm really happy with how things are going at the moment yeah